All right, I want to talk about light. And uh, when we're at one of our properties with just battery power or solar lights, I almost like it when the batteries run out and we have to use candles or use a lantern. Um, I'd like to encourage everyone to use candles in a glass container so that if they were accidentally left unsupervised, they wouldn't melt down and cause a fire. Now, uh, lanterns, a lot of times the lantern fuel is toxic, and they'll say right on there, causes cancer. And so I wanted to show people how to make something better than either of those options. And all you need to do is uh, take a little section of paper towel, roll it nice and tight, and we're basically making a wick out of this. And then you're just going to cut one side, hopefully maybe be a little skinnier. You're going to cut it, making a little piece like that. And then we'll cut it down the, the middle a couple times on one side. My idea there is that you can kind of fan this out a little bit for it to be on the bottom. And uh, I already made one. Of, here's what we're going to be making. And um, so this is your piece of paper towel that's stuck in here. And this piece is made out of a paper clip. And I used a pair of needle nose pliers and made a hoop. And that stops the flame from going down. And so I made that um, two hoops. And then it goes into the rest of the uh, apparatus to hold the wick here. So let's put that back in there. And how this is fueled is off of olive oil. And the thing about using olive oil, it's not toxic. And unless you have it over flaming, it doesn't really even burn with smoke. So um, much healthier than a lantern and safer than a candle. When we put the wick and the metal paper clip apparatus in your uh, little shot glass or whatever you want to use. You're going to add olive oil. And get a little olive oil right on the top of the wick. And if you put maybe a quarter of an inch of olive oil in, in a glass this size, it's going to burn for about two hours. So it actually lasts quite a long time. Burns clean. It gives off more light than a candle. And I would imagine being a less volatile fuel, much safer than a lantern. We can go ahead and light this now. As you can see, it uh, is less volatile than lantern fuel. Once it starts to burn this wick and it dries out a little bit, it'll actually get a really good flame as it burns down to those metal rings that uh, start at the top of the paper clip. This is something I think everyone should know in an emergency situation. If they don't have enough candles, flashlights, power went out, no lights. So, if you ask me, they're kind of the same right now. But this flame is going to get a little bigger as it heads down towards the, uh, the paper clip. But this has all sorts of uh, coloring and uh, scent. It's a scented candle. And when I see scent and coloring, it just makes me think of a bunch of chemicals in there. This is pure olive oil. Yeah, now you can see it's brighter than the candle. So when I blow this candle out, look at all that smoke. You know, it's got to be uh, chemicals of some nature. It's hardly any smoke from that. That's probably just a little bit of the uh, paper towel. So I don't know. Buy organic paper towels. But uh, lights right back up. And like I said, I'll keep this flame nice and bright for an uh, hour and a half, two hours off of that much olive oil in there.
to your life, though. Enjoy.